Hi guys, uh, so today we're going to be starting a, a new project and this time kind of following on from last the last um, project which was um, a portrait of Rose, uh, my dog. Um, I'm going to be doing a, and that was in oils, I'm going to be doing a, um, a drawing in, um, in pencil, so using this kind of mechanical pencil uh, of a cat this time. Um, it's quite a nice soft photograph, I put it up on the screen um, next to my work. Um, so we get straight into it. Um, first thing we want to do, as always, is just start to just start to faintly get some just adjust the exposure a little bit there. Start to faintly get in some general shapes. So this here is sort of like a bit of a suggestion of the the ear. down the back of their neck there, and top of the head, back here. I'm keeping my lines all really sort of fuzzy, you can see. <coughs> we got roughly where the head projects out. If I need to make any or want to make any corrections I can quite easily. I'm just going to try to get just the chin in now. Zoom in a little bit on the side as well. I'm just going to focus. And so you don't have much sense of the really sort of fuzzy fur. In just yet. Note just for the placement of the eyes. A little bit of a sense of the mouth there. Chin underneath. And from the point where the muzzle sort of projects out, um, a little bit more fur sticking out. Is back over the, the eye, so you can see it's sort of starting to emerge 
a little bit better. Um, so because it's quite soft, the way I'm going to approach this, usually I do a kind of more specific shadow structure, but I'm just going to start sort of working my own towards the lighter, lighter portions of the drawing, but generally we have this sort of sense that um, there are these fuzzy shadows and then everything is quite rounded in terms of forms. Uh, and then from there in the next session we'll be starting to layer um, some of the fur texture. So we're not necessarily looking at fur texture. Today we're just starting to um, get everything roughly in place. Gonna be a lot more of a kind of soft shaded approach to this one uh, than I would normally take. And for a lot of it, the, um, the background's actually just a bit darker. <coughs> so I'm going to start, even this session, just going to pop a kind of bit of a tone in behind. That's going to I'll pop out the shape of the head and neck even more. Now I'm a little bit more confident I can emphasize, not emphasize so much, but just start to darken slightly and slightly kind of add a bit more detail to the, the shaping around the, the silhouette of the head. a little bit more definition on just some of these shapes, forms in the ears. 
quite different from uh, human portraits in that the ears are often very characterful with animals. Notice that with the, the dog portrait previously, and also this one. It's a nice character in the ears. A little bit of shaping in from the the tones on the outside, not tons. This ear is pretty light, but it's kind of more defined by the the background than it is by <coughs> its actual inherent shape. A bit of those little ear tufts getting in there. So you can see it's starting to come together. Um, the last thing I'm going to do this week is just work a little bit on the the eyes to so just block a bit more of the specific shape in, or just kind of sort of more accented and, and look at their shape as well. down the top there just to start suggesting his glassiness that's not too bad for that right hand eye I think
Yeah, so I think we're just about there um, for today's session. So you can see it's sort of just getting sketched in. This, uh, this black eye looks a little bit strange. We'll maybe deal with that. <laughs> deal with that later. I'm trying to get the The irises to line up is a little bit better, still slightly odd. Um, but yeah, we'll be figuring that out in another session. Um, maybe a little bit darker. Line set up there as well. Um, yeah, so that's it for for today. Just gonna leave it paused in that position for now. And um, we'll be going back and kind of adjusting stuff. Um, developing forms and so on when we get into it next session. But yeah, it's pretty simple, all you need is a reference. So you can work from, uh, this one's from, <coughs> from Unsplash and I'll provide the link. Um, or you can use a picture of your own pet or any animals that you know. Um, and yeah, that's it, just a pencil and some paper and an eraser and that's all you need. Um, so yeah, uh, that's it for this week. As always, you can subscribe to the YouTube if you want to keep up to date with um, all the new new lessons and classes and you can also click the link through to the website to see what sort of paid qualifications that we offer as well um, but yeah that's it and I'll see you guys soon